Hey guys, how's it going? Textbooks here. Hope you're doing well. Today, we're going to be comparing two of the most widely used music streaming services available, Apple Music and Spotify. Of course, as with all my previous comparison videos, this video will be split into subcategories where either service will be put against each other and earn a point when it does that thing better. Whoever has the most points at the end will then be crowned the winner. And in this video, the categories are design and UI, music catalog, sound quality, recommendations, compatibility, and finally, sharing features. So without further ado, let's begin. Okay, so starting off with the design and the UI, I'm gonna go ahead and say it already, Apple kind of messed it up. Surprisingly, Apple Music is organized in a very complicated manner with five tabs along the bottom. Listen now, browse, radio, library, and search. After opening the app, you are put into Listen Now, where it gives you some recommendations as to what it thinks you might want to listen to through pre-made playlists and stations. Going along, then you have Browse, where you can also look at various new releases and genres, and then Radio with various live-hosted shows such as Apple Music One and other live stations from around your local area or around the world. After that, you have your library with all the songs, albums, and playlists that you have saved, and then a search bar with various categories and a toggle to sort through either your saved library or the entire catalogue of Apple Music as a whole. Whew! See what I mean? In comparison, Spotify has a much more refined layout, with a home tab where you can see things that you've recently listened to, as well as other recommendations and pre-made playlists. After that, you then have a search tab that lets you sort by music genres, podcasts, radio shows, new releases, etc, or just search the entirety of the Spotify catalogue. And finally, you have your library where you can see all of your saved playlists, artists and albums in the music view, or all the episodes, downloads and shows in the podcast view. The key difference here is that your content is first, and then you see recommendations. This makes it a lot faster to access your playlists and music right from first entering the app, and it lets you browse through other stuff only if you want to. As for the playback screens, Apple Music does have a slightly better interface though, with a really satisfying gradient based on the album artwork shifting to the beat. It has the standard play, skip, rewind as well as a volume bar, and also three additional toggles for the lyric karaoke view, airplay to cast to other devices, and a list of what is playing next where you can sort, repeat, shuffle, and loop. Spotify also has an equally decent playback screen, where depending on the album, you can have an even cooler custom animation called a canvas. Again, depending on your song, you do also get a Behind the Lyrics powered by Genius, where you can not only get a glimpse of the lyrics of the song, but also you get the context behind them so that you know what the artist means in real time. Of course, you still do get the normal play, skip, rewind, etc, but one thing that I find slightly annoying is that there's no volume adjustment bar unless you open the casting menu. Other than that, the small things like having the shuffle and the loop toggles on the main screen and the intuitive swipe to skip tracks just make Spotify's interface that much easier and great to use. And that is why this round, Spotify wins the point. I know design is subjective, but Spotify is so much clearer that it's just a no-brainer. Moving on to the next category, let's talk about the actual selection of music that you can listen to. Both Apple Music and Spotify have around the same number of tracks at around 70 million, and as mentioned, Apple Music also has many live radio shows and has additionally been known to sign deals with artists such as Drake or Taylor Swift to provide exclusive access of albums first as well as interviews to users too. However, unlike Spotify, Apple Music doesn't have podcasts as part of their library, meaning that you have to either use the Apple Podcast app or another third-party app instead of having all of your audio content in one place. As for general music availability though, I find that both services are equally as good at finding whatever it is that you may be looking for, and I've had no problems not being able to find a song, so for that, both services win a point. The next category is sound quality. Apple Music has a default bitrate of 256 kilobits per second in an AAC format, and it will try to default it to as high as possible as long as it can. On the other hand, Spotify offers a higher max of 320 kilobits per second in both AAC and OG Vorbis formats, but you need to change the bitrate yourself by going to settings, then audio quality, and 320 kilobits being under very high. Essentially, for anyone who has no clue about audio, it means that Spotify can play more sound per second than Apple Music, but honestly, I find that it's not that much of a noticeable difference, so it's pretty much negligible. As for tuning, Spotify allows for a 6 point graphical equaliser that you can increase and decrease to your liking, as well as many different presets that you can choose from depending on the types of music that you regularly listen to. 
Not only that, Spotify also has many other playback tools to adjust volume, crossfade between tracks, mono audio, download quality, and more. So if you care about them small things, you can optimize your listening experience quite a bit. Apple Music, on the other hand, only has a list of genre-based EQ presets available, and that's only on iOS because it's located in the actual settings app, not in the music app. No EQ graph, no bitrate change, nothing. Although the difference in sound quality is pretty much negligible, as I said, Apple Music lags behind in terms of customization, and for that, Spotify wins another point, making the score 3 to 1. Moving on, the next category is recommendations, something that many people value in a music service so that they can discover new music to listen to. Apple Music has the Listen Now tab, where it has a list of top picks based on what you have been listening to. There are also five personalized playlists that are updates weekly, including the New Music Mix, which has a bunch of new releases from artists that you think you might like, a Friends Mix, which is based on what your friends are listening to, a Favorites Mix based on what you listen to regularly, a get up mix to help you get motivated and a chill mix that you can relax to. Now though it seems like a lot, I myself as an Apple Music user honestly have given up trying to use any of these playlists because the algorithm really doesn't get my taste. Out of the maybe 20 or 30 songs, one or two of them actually are good and the rest usually seem to be based on my tastes a year ago when I started using the service which was pretty cringe if you ask me. Along with that, I also just find that the stations feature of an endless playlist that will continually play recommended music as you listen to it really doesn't feel that useful, and it often feels like they're just throwing random songs at a wall hoping that they stick. Plus, the naming is really confusing because I originally thought there was meant to be something to do with the radio tab, not an endless playlist of just recommended music. On the other hand, Spotify offers not one, not two, but three daily mixes based on what you listen to and favorite, as well as a Discover Weekly playlist which is based on what you've listened to, well, in the last week. The Home tab also has a lot more recommended content, and Spotify additionally provides recommendations under basically every list of music you come across throughout the app. And even if you're like me and don't have a particularly large Spotify library, the algorithm learns really quickly what kind of music you seem to like, and it will pile a ton more recommendations which usually tend to be much more relevant than the ones from Apple Music. And that means that again, Spotify wins the point, making the score 4 to 1. The next category is compatibility, and this is super important as it's usually the main reason why people go for either one or the other. In typical Apple fashion, Apple Music is of course available on all of Apple's devices, and despite being available as an app on Android and through iTunes on Windows, it is only natural that Apple opts to make the experience a lot more streamlined and optimized on their own devices. Some things like the EQ settings are completely missing from the Android version or the Windows version, and it's almost as if Apple's treating you as a second class citizen purely because you didn't buy an Apple product to listen to Apple Music on. I know, it's completely ridiculous. Spotify on the other hand is on basically every platform there is. iOS, Android, macOS, Windows, Wear OS, smart speakers, consoles, TVs, and much, much more. An example that's often brought up from that list are smart speakers. For example, if you own a Google Home or an Alexa, then Spotify is probably one of the best choices because it integrates well with whichever assistant you may be using. Most of the time, Apple Music isn't even available as an option, and if it is, it's usually much more limited in comparison to, say, Spotify. If you own lots of other Apple products, that is when Apple Music seems to be the best choice, because Siri doesn't tend to play as nice with third-party services, especially with Spotify in particular, which is not even fully integrated on the HomePod. One thing to note as always though is that Apple Music can sometimes feel like another layer being added to Apple's infamous walled garden. For example, if you have an Apple Watch then you'll know that Apple Music is vastly superior in comparison to Spotify, with many more features, a better design, and offline syncing, and that one thing could prevent you from feeling able to switch services entirely. And that is why this round, surprise surprise, Spotify wins yet again, as it allows for much more flexibility if you have many non-Apple devices, and that is why it makes the score 5 to 1. The final category is sharing, which is a feature that you may not use often, but it can be really useful. Spotify has many means of sharing, public places in which multiple people can collaborate on, as well as scannable Spotify codes which allow you to use your camera to find albums, songs, or even custom playlists. You can additionally follow artists and friends, see what they're listening to or how many listens they get, and it really lets you feel connected. 
Apple Music also has many of the same features, such as profiles, following friends, seeing what they're listening to, etc. But all of it is tucked away under the profile menu that's only accessible via Listen Now. And most people who use Apple Music probably never even realize it's there as a result. Plus, at least since for me, Apple Music is less widely used amongst the people that I know, I only have a small handful of friends, whereas on Spotify, because more people use it, it's much more likely that you'll be able to find people to follow and connect with. This better clarity and wider user base, as well as the extra fun of scanning physical codes and stuff like that, makes sharing on Spotify a lot easier to do. And for that, it makes the final score 6 to 1. So, which of the two should you get? Both Apple Music and Spotify are priced exactly the same, with an individual plan costing $9.99 a month, a family plan costing $14.99 a month, and a student plan costing $4.99 a month. Spotify also offers two more tiers, including a duo plan for two people costing $12.99 a month, as well as a free tier where you can't download music, have a limited amount of skips per hour, and have to listen to ads every few songs. Spotify has a one month free trial for the premium version, whereas Apple Music has a surprisingly generous three month free trial. And my honest advice would be, try both of the services first before committing to paying for them, but if you had to pick only one, Spotify is probably the best option because it's easier to use, it offers better recommendations, and it's more flexible in terms of what devices you can use it on. However, I admit that I remain an Apple Music user myself, as I use mainly Apple devices. The UI is clean enough for my liking, and since I listen to the same 30 songs on repeat, I'm not too bothered about not having hours and hours of music recommended to me all of the time. It definitely depends from person to person. So let me know down below in the comments, which one do you use, Spotify or Apple Music, and why? It'll be interesting to see what features make people choose one or the other. And that's about it for this video. If you enjoyed it, be sure to give it a thumbs up, and if you're new here, make sure to subscribe as it would really help the channel out. This is Textbooks here, and I'll see you guys next time. Peace.